that is not a bourbon, there is no corn in there. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. Mr. Luning, Mr. Horst Luning is not here today. I'm Benedict Luning, his son, and I will do a whiskey tasting today. I did a tour through all of North, Amer North America and stopped by a lot of Tennessee bourbon and Canadian whiskey distilleries. And today I'm showing you one of the Dickel whiskies, and that is the Dickel Rye. Dickel Rye has 95% rye content, which is the highest rye content you can use if you want to have natural enzymes um, splitting the starch inside the rye. So you have to have at least 5% malted barley, otherwise you have to uh, add um, chemical enzymes to split the starch in, in the rye. So this is one of the special things about the Dickel rye. And the other thing is the, the Dickel process. Dickel um, chill, chills their whiskey before they um, enter it into the, uh, the charcoal filtering and then into the barrel. You can see this in the distillery video. I put an annotation here, just click on it and then you see the production process. Um, how did that actually happen? I didn't explain that in the video. And George Dickel found out that his whiskey tasted better in the winter. And in 1870 or 1890, that's when he distilled the whiskey, um, then he found out uh, you didn't have much heating. So everything in the production hall was pretty cold. And so he found out that um, his, his, chill, uh, his filtering method was better when it's chilled. So he filtered out some different substances and his whiskey became, became even mellower. And that's what he calls mellow as moonshine. Don't confuse that with uh, the moonshine the, the illegal distillers um, make, because he meant the moonshine as in its mellow light. So that's how mellow his whiskey is. And immediately you realize, ah, okay, that is not a bourbon. There is no corn in there. And you have an instant spiciness in your nose. Very, very, very direct spiciness, but it's not, not sharp spiciness, not hot at all. Rather a spiciness, you know, from a spicy bread. And it's, it's still very, very soft. I can't, can't, I can't get any alcohol from here. Ah, oh, and if you go a bit deeper and you get a bit of vanilla, but I would say the, the spicy note is dominating. So yeah, spiciness. And I even get a bit of a, a bit of a medicinal note when you have, yeah, like from a, like from a, a peppermint um, medicine that that is flavored so it's it's not tasting horrible so yeah that's like yeah maybe there's a, i'll find a bit of spiciness a bit of peppermint in there. that that explains it pretty well but still you have it's not attacking in your nose so let's have a try It's 90 proof, 45% alcohol. Um, you get instant spiciness, um, but still not as sharp and intense. It's not a chili spiciness. It's it's a, a, a bread spiciness. It's um, and a, I would say a hint. A hint of smoke in in the end and the finish becomes becomes oakiness mm -hmm. yeah that's it so yeah a great pleasant whiskey to drink um it's not a a deep whiskey way 
I don't think you will find a lot of different aromas, but it's a smooth whiskey. It, it's not as smooth as a, um, as a bourbon. You have more spiciness. If, if you want something more than, than a bourbon that is just mellow and with vanilla and caramel, you, I didn't find any caramel in there. So if you want more spiciness, like maybe in a drink, um, then this is the perfect whiskey for you. Uh, if you want any rating, we don't do ratings, but if you go to the whiskey database in our end card, then you will find the user ratings. Um, that's that's not, you can't bribe any users. So um, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, then please share it with your friends. And thank you for watching.